In this video, I will be addressing an issue that many researchers and explorers in the Arctic face today, land-based transportation, specifically a certain type of concept vehicle known as the bio-inspired ice vehicle. I will discuss the harsh terrains that the land-based vehicles have to face, along with the bio-inspired ice vehicle concept and how it will be put into practice in the Arctic. The Arctic has vast landscapes that hold some of the world's greatest scenery. However, there are miles and miles of untouched rugged terrain in which has proven to be a major obstacle for many people involved in research and exploration of the Arctic. The harsh terrain can include anything from deep snow to rugged ice, steep hills and bottomless crevices, along with quick weather changes and intense cold. This posts a lot of issues when it comes to finding effective ways of transportation. Many of these vehicles used on these expeditions are full team units. This means that the entire team and their equipment remains on one vehicle throughout the trek. Many of these units are very similar to a machine known as a snowcat or a large bus type vehicle that is track driven. It has a large amount of storage and fuel reserves along with full living arrangements inside. The issue with this type of vehicle is that they are rather heavy and less maneuverable through the extremes environment of the Arctic. This type of vehicle has been proven to be good for treks where the paths have already been explored or the trailing unit of the team. However, they propose an issue when they are used for exploring or as a lead vehicle as they are too heavy and do not have the proper geotracking equipment for testing the ground as they travel. This results in a large risk for both the safety of the team and the operation. When it comes to exploring new lands in the Arctic, there must be a lead vehicle that is able to conquer all types of terrains and be equipped with the right technology. The bio-inspired ice vehicle, or better known as the BIV, was engineered around this idea. The purpose of this vehicle is to be the lead vehicle for any land-based exploration teams. This agile route locator is a single operator vehicle with the capabilities to face anything the Arctic has to throw at it. The BIV is a light biofueled propeller driven vehicle that is engineered to run in the coldest, driest and windiest climates there is. The motor selected was a 918 Rotax, a turbocharged 4 cylinder aero motor made by Bombardier. However, it was further adapted to run on E85 biofuel specifically for this vehicle to increase its efficiency. The motor was tested versus other motors in the similar class as the Rotex, yet it was found to be the most reliable and powerful out of all the motors at lower temperatures and higher altitudes. The three ski independent suspension design is the most dependable design as it has the fewest moving parts to reduce freeze up or any chance of it breaking down on the trail. This design also proves to be the softest riding and most agile when it comes to conquering rougher terrain. The unit has a dry weight of 360 kilograms and a top speed of 135 kilometers per hour. For the crew, this means that the unit is light enough to be manhandled across rougher terrain, dependable enough that they won't need to fix it often, yet fast enough that it is able to travel ahead of the crew, check out any oncoming landscapes, all before the rest of the team even gets there. It is equipped with GPS tracking and state-of-the-art ground penetrating radar. This uses sonar technology to detect large crevices and thin sheets of ice in order to see if it's safe enough for the rest of the team to follow a similar path. Although the BIV is still in its concept stages, it has been used for more than one exploration across the Antarctic. During that expedition, the BIV proved itself worthy as it did not break down and the team was able to seek out their path much faster than usual. Of course, with a success like this, who could say no to developing more of them? This vehicle is currently undergoing upgrades and finishing up its concept stages. Once this vehicle is in production, it will be expected to be implemented into research and exploration teams of the Arctic. It will not only be used for exploration, but to secure the safety of the teams as they travel amongst the barren tundra. Overall, I have explained the harsh terrain that land-based exploration vehicles of the Arctic must face, the bio-inspired ice vehicle, and how it will be implemented into the Arctic. The BIV is just one example of how mechanical engineering can contribute to the exploration of the Arctic. It shows that we were able to provide a solution to help overcome the harsh terrains that Mother Nature has to offer.